everyone. Today we are going to have a simple activity to witness a beautiful branch of physics called thermodynamics. We all know thermodynamics refers to the study of heat, its transfer and its flow from one place to another. We are going to verify today one of the basic laws of thermodynamics which is based on the very principle of conservation of principle of conservation of energy that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it can simply be manifested or transferred from one form to another for any given isolated system to conduct and verify this activity what i have considered is a burning lighted candle two balloons one of which is filled with air nothing more another i have put in mild amount of water. Apart from that, to light up the matchstick, what I require is, light up the candle I require is matchstick, then hot boiling water and finally an empty plastic container containing an empty plastic bottle which has been tied, this bottle has been tied to this uh, vessel, this container so as to form a system. And on the mouth of the bottle, plastic bottle, I have just put up a balloon. Now what I am going to show you in the first part is, I will start pouring water in this empty vessel. The moment I pour empty, uh, water in this empty vessel, just look at what happens. There is some change in the shape of balloon we start witnessing. The balloon has started inflating. And we see the balloon completely inflated. What is this inflation in the balloon telling us? This is basically ver verifying first law of thermodynamics. What I did was I poured hot water into the vessel. So hot water was behaving like a surrounding for the system. System was comprising of this plastic bottle capped up with this balloon. So now, the moment I pour up water, the water is surrounding. Heat from the boiling water is reaching the system which is the air inside the plastic bottle and the balloon system. While the hot boiling water provides heat to the system that is this air in the plastic bottle and balloon, the air expands. The balloon expands and inflates showing the conversion of one form of energy to another. Apart from that, it proves that a small amount of heat added to a system increases partly the internal energy of the system. That is the moment we pour in the hot boil in water, the internal energy of the air molecules start increasing, which exert a pressure and fill in the empty space inside the balloon. That is, apart from increasing the internal energy of the system, it does work. That is, dQ is equal to dU plus dW. A small amount of heat added to a system is able to partly increase the internal energy of the system and the remainder is used to do work. Let's verify one more thing alongside here. So, to witness this, what I have taken is a lighted candle and as I shown before this these are two balloons I have picked up one is an empty balloon with air only another I just mentioned is containing some water in it what I'll do I'll take my stopwatch on the mobile phone starting with zero so reading is zero to begin with I pick up the balloon which has no water, balloon which has no water and I put this balloon closer to the candle flame. The moment I put it closer to the candle flame, I will start the stopwatch. So starting it, I put it on the candle and it bursts. If we see, the time taken by air to expand here to do work was 3.93 seconds. On the contrary, now let me again light up the candle. 
for the next thing to be witnessed. In this case, what I have picked up is a balloon containing water. And now I am again going to put it on the candle flame and see how long it takes for the balloon to blast. Is it taking the same time or more time? So, I reset from 3.93 seconds to 0. Start the stopwatch and put it here. The time is 5 plus seconds. The balloon has not blasted. 12 seconds. The balloon has not blasted. 17 seconds. 20 seconds. 23 seconds. 27 seconds. The balloon has not blasted. 33 seconds. The balloon has not blasted. 38 seconds. And dear friends, it may last quite a long. So I stop it here. We can continue this for longer time to show the bursting of balloon. What have we proved here? Yet again, conservation of energy. And not only conservation of energy, this is also highlighting second law of thermodynamics, which says that the entropy for an isolated system cannot decrease with time. So again, the balloon was bursting in the first case, depicting that amount of heat added to the system not only increases its internal energy, but the remainder is used to do work. So air expanded, did work on the balloon and the balloon blasted. Here, in this case, water is a very good conductor of heat. Since water is a great conductor of heat, when I'm putting the balloon containing water on the candle, firstly, the heat reaches the water. As the heat reaches water, convection currents are set up here inside the body of the balloon. As convection currents build up, what we witness is the balloon takes much longer time to blast, much, much more longer than the first case. So with this, we prove here laws of two, first two laws of thermodynamics. Law one, that is an amount of heat added to the system increases its internal energy partly and the remainder is used to do work. Law number two of thermodynamics which states that the total entropy of the system can never decrease with time. Thank you so much. Keep learning physics.